hi guys welcome to my channel first of all i want to say thank you for the subscription we, we are up to almost 400 thank you so much it's only been a few months so thank you so much for the subscriptions i truly truly hope that we can you every, each and every one of you can get some information to help you in any way to sustain a healthy lifestyle in a big way in a small way in like a random way one day you just see something that will help you i'm really really hopeful that that will be the case for each and every one that has subscribed so let's get into it so that we don't really waste a lot of time next topic was about weight fluctuation so to put this this into context most times many clients that i meet the story goes always goes like this so about two years ago i lost weight and then came all back and now i don't know what to do what i did wrong i don't know what what to do to maintain it and it's like continuous every one of them a bit uh two years ago i lost weight and now it's back now i want to discuss that weight fluctuation issue that many ugandan women and men go through and how to prevent it that in that regard when you start explaining things i'll start off by explaining different terms that i'm going to keep throwing around so that it's not um, confusing starting off with metabolism the simplest way I can explain metabolism it's the process by which your body turns food to energy so it's food is fuel for your body it's energy for your body so the process by which the body the entire all the processes that happen in your body by through which food is turned to energy to fuel your body is metabolism so everyone's body is different you have different metabolic rates the rate at which that process occurs turning food to energy to fuel your body that's your metabolic rate you get that i hope that's clear so everyone has different metabolic rates some because processes are slow other processes are very fast and that's it that's everyone to have a different metabolism and our goal in life is to keep your metabolism high okay to enable your body to process that food fast to turn it into energy so um the other thing to explain before we get into the six reasons would be what happens when you age so as you age you go from your teenage from your baby years you know prepubescent pre 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 years teenage years uh young adulthood years then you keep aging as you age your metabolism slows down so the rate at which the body turns the food you eat into fuel or energy slows down as you age it just happens you're aging so that means it's up to you as a person okay to then understand that my metabolism is slowing down as i age so what should i change in whatever i eat or my activities to maintain that metabolism episode you're not supposed to say sit back and say oh i've aged metabolism is slowing nothing to do about it no you then work around that okay work around that to keep your metabolism up so that you can you know sustain a good weight is that clear so let's get into it now the six ways you can stabilize your weight for a lifetime or through different decades and do through different ages one keep your metabolism up so that's a very wide concept we're going to break it down there are like four ways to do that we're going to break them down and i hope they're clear for you okay one it's about maintaining muscle so when you maintain your muscle at a high level your metabolic rate will always be you know in a good range so muscle is the part of you that utilizes the food you eat it's literally the one that's working so right now you're watching this video so you might be seated somewhere you're blinking your lungs are you know working your kids are working your kids are working you're basically using up energy to stay alive so a body that has more muscle than it does fat you will always have a high metabolism you always use more energy than the body that has more fat so in order to keep your metabolism up it's about how much muscle you have in your body so once your muscle is consolidated or it's high and it's enough then your metabolism will always be maintained so with each edge comes a bit of difficulty to maintain that muscle but it's up to you to keep saying i'm going to eat for my muscle that um directly relates to how much protein you're having then I'm going to eat to 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 um, for my activity, how much activity I'm doing. So eating enough natural, naturally occurring carbohydrates to feed just enough of your activities, not beyond. So that goes to directly, you know, 
your nutrition and then beyond nutrition how you exercise and your activity so remember as you're doing all these activities that help you to burn down fat not burn down fat <laughs> burning down down fat is really not a true statement you're burning calories okay you're not burning fat so anyway so you always say as i'm doing these activities okay to reduce the fat percentage in my body i'm also including activities that actually maintain or increase my muscle mass so those activities make your program holistic it's not about doing these cardio workouts that just help you lose fat it's also remembering that i have actually you know activities that have to maintain or increase my muscles so let me add those to my program and make it more holistic so remember keeping your metabolism high okay it's about having good muscle in your body good enough muscle in your body over your fat and that directly directly goes to um, your nutrition and your training in nutrition protein is what builds your muscle so you always it's not a luxury to have on your meal you always have to have a protein source on your breakfast on your dinner on your lunch and also like when you're snacking have some protein sources in there we we talk about the details of what protein is in another video so please check those out and i always measure them in my other videos so they're very common then in your training as you're doing your cardio to burn down the fat include body weight training body weight exercises resistance training weight lifting to maintain or build your muscle okay i hope that is clear the next thing we're going to talk about still goes to your metabolism metabolic rate and how you should maintain it most people always starve themselves when they want to do a quick fix of you know let me fit into this particular cloth let me juice and then fit into whatever i want to do i mean whatever i want to wear so to maintain your weight for a longer period of time do not damage your metabolism through things like starving yourself once you starve yourself you're going to lose weight obviously because you're not eating enough you're going to lose the weight but sadly you're not just losing fat you're losing your muscle too and the moment you lose muscle the rate at which the body uses up food or fuel shoo, goes down so your metabolism goes down now out coming out of that starvation mode you know you're coming out of that juicing the extreme juicing you've done you've lost weight you're happy you're going to eat again normally because you know you have to live life okay then the fat piles on again because the part of you that is supposed to metabolize food you damaged it so please look out for that rather than starve yourself or do an extreme calorie deficit first account for nutrients account for the nutrients like protein naturally occurring carbohydrates healthy fats fiber water if those are all accounted for then say let me do a calorie deficit but when in my calorie deficit i have the nutrients necessary to maintain a good metabolism next two avoiding fat diets so we have a lot of these every every time something comes up it's sold to us really really hard so pescatarian diet you know keto diet now is on it's really on that intermittent fasting diet before you jump on anything each month a different diet because you've seen that before and after that appeals to you that worked for someone before you jump on that understand what works for your life if you're the kind of person who doesn't eat a lot or you're too busy during a specific time in your in your um in your day you can adopt intermittent fasting and it lasts you your whole lifetime and you're okay if you're the kind of person who has gone off like an eating disorder and you not eating for periods of time or will uh, lead you to, into starving yourself you're the kind of person who needs some constant meals that are low calorie but nutrient dense okay just give you enough energy to start to to do the activities without an excess if you're the kind of person who can survive on a keto diet lots of fat lots of protein almost zero calorie zero carbohydrates and you know you can sustain that yourself on that for more than three months then adopt adapt to that even just beyond that deaths you can look at um do i have time to make these meals can i prep these meals should i go shopping do i have i done an overhaul of my pantry before i even jump on a diet look at my pantry what have i removed that needs to be removed whatever i did that needs to be added so some of you are jumping on diets even before you can 
you even have a tomato in the fridge so before you jump on a diet first look at you know what you can do to change just your fridge your pantry so that this thing you can sustain yourself on this lifestyle for a longer period of time not just the amount of time it takes you to keep up with that then you're like oh i'm done after that okay so try and do habits that help you sustain yourself for a longer time than just that diet for like short-term goals okay so avoid bad diets stick to one and long enough for it to become a habit and something you can do for a long time sorry about that okay so most of us stress eat that is the most that's the the, the the answer I got on all my IG questions about why our weight fluctuates. Most of us stress eat. If we could create habits that replace those uh, eating habits when we are stressed, so new habits that are stress relievers, most of them are always going to center around activity for as advice from me. So, like I said in my IG stories, I had an, a, a client who's down a soda, just an entire soda or two once they thought that you know clients are disturbing her then you know people are bringing in reports that are badly done she'll be like oh i need a soda or two and then i'll just get the energy to go through with this horrible day so she was addicted to soda so she started doing this thing of like when she's stressed and she's about to like just shout at a client or someone being very very annoying she just do a push-up and i'll just close her office and just do a push-up it just grew into two push-ups it sounds corny i know but it grew into two push-ups five ten and now it replaced that soda craving when she was stressed so replace the eating as a stress reliever with a new habit that is just a win-win situation for you if it's going to be you know there are times you, you can't even those habits don't help and you want your fix if that's how your life is if you could surround yourself with healthy food so you're craving a sweet thing freeze your bananas put them in like some dark chocolate and eat that or have some grapes around you and you're like i need then you just sort of keep chewing on those grapes as you uh calm down and just get down from that stress um, stressful point in your life so create better stress relieving habits that's point number three point number four we're going to stop doing exercises that target what we think are our problem areas so number three is train holistically and do not train target i mean do not target train problem areas so most women who i meet and men sometimes always say ah atamba it's just my tummy it's just my hips it's just my arms everything else is fine it's just my arms just just walk with my arms and everything is fine so it sounds like surgery almost like just walk on my arms it will be fine so in that case i would want, like, i'd like you to know you guys you can't train one body part okay you can't if you're going to change your entire life to be a better person or be physically healthy you have to start eating better and training the entire body then as you train the entire body you know full body workouts you do some isolation exercises in between to you know emphasize on your what you think are your problem areas but a full body training is a must so stop doing those targeted exercises like i'm doing 100 sit-ups a day but i've never jogged or never run or I've never um, done um, any more intense work than that sit up or 100 sit ups a day so I want you guys to have a holistic program if you can't make one up yourself find a coach to help you to structure one that you can follow for you know and keep tweaking for a longer period of time number five resting most of us don't rest I don't know we are we are we are um, a generation that just pushes that thing of get better get better even me now i'm telling you get better get better so we, we have all these pressures around ourselves like get healthy stop drinking um get off these habits good skin you know it's so much pressure at the same time we also want to have some fun with our friends at the same time we have work we want to get rich and relax and have a luxurious life in our 50s so it's like so much pressure and we don't rest and the time we're supposed to rest we are watching it's when we're doing like watching movies because we've been working all day so we're a generation that doesn't rest rest is like a luxury to us so i want to emphasize this rest is not a luxury it's a must for your body to rejuvenate itself to heal from all the stress you put through it to become better rest is a must 
the more you don't rest, the more you stress yourself and with non-stop activity, the more the stress hormones come in and the more you end up either stress eating or um, storing fat as excess. And then, you know, it's like a loop. Stress, stress eat, store excess, non-stop loop. You know, it's not something you do when you, you know, you have the time and you know, you've made it. No, everyone needs rest. Whoever you are out there, please, you need rest. If you realize you've worked all day, but you're like, I want to watch my sitcom before I sleep. Man, just rest. You watch it another time. Just take time and sleep. Okay, number six. This is my most, my most important because it's what the rest hinges on. Educate yourself about a healthy lifestyle. So we all have different bodies and most times what what lacks for us is that we not we are not informed we are not educated or we get bits and pieces of things around us on the internet and adapt to those things without getting a full picture educate yourself find a nutritionist find a coach educate yourself because you know for like me i don't eat past nine me i take apple cider vinegar me i'm on keto but they don't know beyond that it's just like they're in this bubble of like tiny information, only little information and they're sticking to that. Educate yourself. You'll find yourself at 40, but because you know, you've been educating your children too, and it's like a sustained life because you, you have the information to adapt to each decade. So please educate yourself on the right information. Surround yourself with information that's going to enrich you about nutrition and lifestyle and, 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 and your lifestyle. And also, when you get all this information, don't jump, jump to do like different, different things. It's supposed to help you make a, a decision, a one decision that you can stick to for a long time, not just jumping, you know, from different things. One thing that always hinders, you know, all our progress is going back to old habits. That is so common. So it's always like this. I've done all this work to, to get my muscle up, maintain uh, my fat levels that have very low uh, rate and then I see my goal within range it's almost there you know I push and then get to the goal but because we view our healthy lifestyle as a means to an, a good aesthetic or a good look or being praised for having a hot body most times when we reach that goal I'm not we then stop I'm not saying that your goal shouldn't include having a hot body. No, everyone wants to look nice and be, you know, complimented about how hot they look. It's very good for self-esteem. It's good for, you know, other parts of your life. You feel, you know, you feel confident. But can you create goals beyond that? So if your starting goal was to look hot or to shed abdominal fat and look clean or have toned arms, or have better legs if your goal was based on someone's before and after you're like mm, i want it. i want that that's okay whatever motivates you to start i don't mind but in the process of trying to get to that goal try and make goals beyond that because one day you want you're going to reach it how are you going to maintain it the only way you're going to maintain that is by forming more long-lasting goals that goal of wanting a hot pot, it won't hold you true to your convictions or your habits if you don't form other goals that are, you know, more long lasting. If that goal of having looking hot or looking a certain way was just start out, you started eating more vegetables, you didn't even like them, but you started eating them because you wanted to look a certain way, you know, I understand that very, very much. But during that time when you're eating more vegetables you're eating better better carbohydrates eating more protein you're training hard during that time time to start liking those things you won't like them out of the blue oh i like vegetables because i started eating them so by, by force i'll just like them and start liking them no you have to actively tell you start working on it tell you start enjoying preparing those vegetables enjoying preparing those fruits enjoying preparing prepping those meals so sorry i get heated up and then i start speaking so much and going off topic but i just want this to be something you understand that that reason you began out is your own it's in your heart you know it might be the looks might be your a disease 
might be a body state it's your own reason but throughout that process of change try and start liking those changes start liking those those vegetables start liking those fruits start liking the the work you put yourself through when you're doing an exercise start liking waking up early to exercise or doing an exercise just before bed because you don't have to have the entire day start liking these things so that you they are part of you for a longer time that's the only way you're going to prevent yourself from going into awkward habits and when you start liking those things one day of course you'll go and eat biscuits and ice cream we have kids we enjoy these things at parties i eat biscuits i eat pizza but it won't be to an extent that you follow your usual lifestyle your usual healthy lifestyle it will always be a one-off and then you go back to the lifestyle you've started liking or a lifestyle you've started to respect and adapt to okay so guys the only way you're going to not fall back to your habits okay is by starting to like the ones you're creating now it sounds weird still it sounds weird that someone is telling you to start liking these things but you have to so i um it's I'm going to say I like vegetables. I've always liked vegetables, so it's not something that was hard for me to adopt to, to adapt to. So I like chewing on a cucumber. You can, it's like you're chewing on freshness. It's like my version of mint. I love cucumbers. It's like you're chewing water, just a nice uh, a thing in your mouth. And then I love chewing on tomatoes. I like um, having them on my plate. When I'm out to someone, I could just pick their tomatoes out and just eat all of them. I love, I love chewing kale and how hard it is when I'm chewing it. Kumawiki is kale. So for me, that was easy. I started enjoying them. Like I would see a plate and look at the avocado and say, mm, this is nice. You get? And it will take time. It will take time for it to be cultivated. It's okay, but you have to work on it. And that's how you're going to sustain a healthy lifestyle for a longer time beyond that one reason that made you start it might not be able to be enough to it might be enough to take you through that process of like one month three months six months but you know you want this to be a whole lifetime so start enjoying yourself in this lifestyle and you it will last a very very long time i hope i didn't go off topic in this okay those are our six reasons i hope tell me which one you're going to adopt to Okay, I hope it's all of them. And let me know if this works for you. Bye. And next, please subscribe. Remember to subscribe. Remember, we have consultations for you to understand your life better, your body better. And please subscribe. Have a good day.